Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to set up Python in VS Code. So to run Python in VS Code, you should have VS Code installed in your system. If you have not installed VS Code yet, then check out my video. The link is available in the description. So here, the first thing we have to download Python. So open your browser. And here simply search Python. And you will get this first website which is from python.org. I will also mention the link in the description. So just open it. Here click on download section. Just go to download section. Here you will find windows and under windows just click on this download for windows python 3.13.2. Just click on it. Now you can see it is downloading, so just wait for it to complete. Once it downloaded, just double click on it for installation. Let me minimize the browser. Now installation wizard will open. Here you mark add python.exe to path. And here just click on install now. And just wait for it to complete. Now it is installing. Now once it downloaded, just click on close here. Now go to your window search bar and just type cmd and open your command prompt and here you just type python space hyphen hyphen version then just hit enter if you get this information python 3.13.2 that means python is installed in your system now let's set up vs code for python if you don't have installed vs code yet then check out my video the link is available in the description go to windows search bar and just search for vs code visual studio code and open visual studio code Let's close this welcome page. Now we need to install some extension for Python. So just go here and click on extension. And in the search bar, just search for Python. And you will get this Python language support extension, which is from Microsoft. So just click on it and open it. And here, just click on install. Once it is installed, just click on close here. Now here click on explorer. Now you need to create one folder where you want to save your project. So just click on open folder. I am creating on my desktop. So in my desktop, I am creating one folder. You can create wherever you want. I am giving the name here Python program now just select it and just click on select folder now here click on yes address the author now close this welcome file now here click on new file and create a python new file let's say i am giving the name file as hello dot py make sure you use dot py extension with your file name and this just hit enter now here simply write your program let's say i want to print hello guys now after that save your program so just press ctrl plus s to save your program now if you don't want to save your program manually if you want vs code to save your program automatically then click on file here and then just click on auto save and mark this auto save now if you click on file again and you have to see that auto save is marked now let's run this program so here on the top left Click on this three dot icon, go to terminal, then new terminal, click on new terminal. 
Now you can see your terminal has been started. Now let's run our program. So just type here python space give the file name which is hello dot py. Then just hit enter and you can see hello guys is printed in your terminal now if you don't want to write this command to run your program if you want to run your program automatically then again go to extension here click on extension and in this time just search for code runner which will run your program automatically you will get code runner which is from Janhan. open it now just click on install here once it installed just click on close here now let's run this program automatically through code runner so just click on here drop down and here just click on run code now you can see your output here we have not written manually any command to run our program but you can see that it is not giving the output in the terminal so let's do some settings so it will give the output in the terminal so here just click on this gear icon setting icon here just go to settings and in search settings just search for code runner run in terminal and you will get this code runner run in terminal so just enable this option mark this option code runner run in terminal now let's close it now if you run this program it will give the output in the terminal so just go here click on this drop down and just click on run code Now you can see it is giving the output in the terminal. So that's it. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. If you have any issue, then drop a comment below. I will be happy to help. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.